Good evening, Empire Oak students. Thank you for joining me for Sunday Stories. Rocky and I are very excited to see you this evening. We hope that you've had a great weekend and um, are kind of winding down, getting ready for the school week. Um, so tonight's story is called The Girl Who Thought in Pictures, and it's a story about Dr. Temple Grandin. You may have heard of her, you may not have, but I hope you enjoy this story and you learn something about her. Look at the inside cover. You'll, after hearing this, you'll get to know why this is significant. And this is by Julia Finley Mosca. If you've ever felt different, if you've ever been low, if you don't quite fit in, there's a name you should know. Temple Grandin's that name. In her tale, you'll find glory. So get ready, get set for this cowgirl's true story. In the city of Boston, one hot summer day, a sweet baby was born. It was Temple, hooray! Unique from the start, an unusual girl, she loved spinning in circles and watching things twirl. But some things she hated, like certain loud sounds or bright crowded places, large cities and towns. Frilly dresses with tags made her itch, pull, and tug. Something else that she hated? A big, squeezy hug. Do you know anyone who is sensitive to sounds or um, feelings, things like that? A shy loner, this temple, but when she got mad, when her feelings of stress and frustration got bad, quite a tantrum she'd throw, kick, holler, bang, shriek. Yet still by age three, not one word did she speak. She'll never be normal, was what some did say. Her brain's not quite right. You must send her away. Away, not my temple, her mother proclaimed. We'll figure this out. You should be ashamed. Then little by little, though sometimes she balked, special teachers helped tem temple and one day she talked. And that thing with her brain, it was autism, see? She was different, not less, and they all finally agreed. Like most kids her age, she loved ice cream and art. But the way Temple thought, that's what set her apart. If something was mentioned, for instance, a fly, in her mind, she'd see dozens of photos buzz by. When the time came for school, let's just say that was hard. Kids taunted and chased her all over the yard. They picked on poor Temple, how crazy it drove her. They teased her for saying things over and over, and over, and over, and over. Until finally she snapped. Yes, she did, she lost her cool and threw a book at a kid and was kicked out of school. But no one really got Temple. But well, then again, the truth of it was, Temple didn't get them. You need time away, said her mom, that's what's best. You'll go visit your aunt on a ranch way out west. What are you doing, Rocky? And guess what? Fitting in on a farm was less stress, since the pigs don't care if her hair was a mess. Quite a sweet spot she had for the cows in her herd, in their herds, such big gentle beasts who knew nothing of words. As she watched her new friends, a thought popped in her head. These cows think like me, in pictures instead.
At a new school that fall, Temple found more support and the teacher who taught her, you'll never fall short. When you find what you're good at, like science, you'll soar. And that teacher was right. He had opened a door. So she built a machine like she'd seen on some farms, an invention that hugged her with boards and not arms. It worked. She had done it from memory, it's true. And just like the cows, it made Temple calm too. See that? I'm special, she thought, like a bright shooting star. My attention to details could help me go far. Through her studies, she learned there were farms not so kind. I will help them, she said, some solutions she'd find. And then something cool, can you guess, could it be? Off to college she went, a degree, she earned three. And though ladies weren't experts at farms at the time, do you think that stopped Temple? No way, she did fine. She stepped through that door and went forward, no tears. She took on the world, but at times she had fears. Because some things were scary, like people she'd meet, who'd ignore her ideas and, well, wouldn't be sweet. But she never gave up, learned her stuff through and through, like why cattle will circle and what makes them moo. To build better farms was her goal. She would do it. Be kind to our creatures. They have feelings. She knew it. What you doing, Rocco? Hmm? He's licking. And slowly but surely, she changed many minds until farm after farm built her awesome designs. Word spread about Temple, her feet's not so small. Temple Grandin, she's grand. She's the grandest of all. You see this little book that she wrote? Livestock Handling and Transport. Now for these things and more, she's won honors and prizes. And a movie was made, but the biggest surprise is that girl with the future that couldn't be bleaker. Yes, the once silent girl, she's now a big speaker. Today, she spreads hope with her stories and speeches. From New York to Sydney to Rome, Temple teaches. Each person is special, so unique are our minds. This world needs your ideas. It takes brains of all kinds. So here is the lesson. Feeling odd or offbeat? Being different might just be what makes you so neat. Don't let doubt hold you back. Not for one minute more. Stand tall and like temple, march right through that door. So this right here is a picture of the real Temple Grandin with some cows. And she writes a little note here to the reader. Let me read it to you. It says, Dear Reader, as a child, I was really glad that my mother always encouraged my ability in art. I encourage you to find something you're good at and work on developing it. If you're interested in becoming a scientist like me, find cool new ways to look at things such as microscopes and telescopes. Explore nature. Think of your own hands-on science experiments. Keep learning, especially from your mistakes. Temple Grandin. Such a special story about a very special person and scientist and a great example of someone who thinks differently and has been very successful in her work and research. So I hope that you guys enjoyed tonight's Sunday story. Check out the Monday morning message tomorrow to hear about the weekly challenge this week. Okay. All right, Rocky, you about done there? Hello. Hey, mister. All right. Well, Rocky, <laughs> Rocky's doing his own thing tonight, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Have a wonderful evening and sweet dreams. Rocky.
Are you giving yourself a bath the whole time mommy's reading? 